Welcome to the mat today. Go ahead and join me here at the center of your mat. Step your feet a little bit wider than the hips. Just get a nice, comfortable, grounded stance. We'll begin here. Inhale, reach your arms out. And on your exhale, press your left foot, especially the heel down. Lift the right knee up. And we'll be doing this for eight rounds with a couple little super adventure moments thrown in. So let's begin. Inhale, reach out. Exhale. Now, as you step into the bottom foot, really move the heel down. And I'd like you to start exhaling as you lift the knee. Three, two, one. Really nice. All right, to stretch and rest, just slightly bend the knees. Slide your hips back, though, to keep the knees safer. And take a nice deep inhale here. Stretch and exhale. Let's begin next session here, next round. So exhale. And as you exhale and pull the knee up, I want you to really tone the core inward. Stay standing tall, though, so you're never rounding the back. Two, one, and rest. You can always just stand and circle the arms around, wrists around as well. Two, one. Here we go. Round three. Take a breath in, stretch, and now start to move a little bit more fiercely, confidently as you learn the move, but still in nice, safe alignment. And exhale through the mouth as you tone and lift the core body. All right. Rest it out. Little cat cow here. Or circle and stretch. Keep your knees a little bit bent so we're not locking the legs today. Reach out. And let's begin round four of eight. Let that heart rate gently rise as you exhale and really help that core connect to lift the legs from the center as you stay nice and tall. And last one, right on. Reach your right shoulder down, stretch it out a little bit. Left shoulder, come on back up to stand. Nice grounded stance. Excellent. Now, if you're able and it feels okay, right in between the lift, bend the knees a little, but slide your hips way back so you're never pushing your knees forward. Keep the hips back always. Two, one. Now, of course, that's optional. Rest it out. You can stay with that nice walking stance. No problem. And let's begin again. Maybe you can bend a little bit. If not, totally fine. Be where you need to be and protect those knees. Exhale. Lift the knee each time. And you're getting that nice cardio amplification as your heart rate rises. Rest it out. Breathe, stretch, or circle. Nice deep inhales and exhales as your cardio capacity starts to optimize. Let's inhale here and go again. Now, every time you exhale, I want you to really get ferocious with the movement, but stay conscious so you are getting the fast twitch, muscle lifting, and defining movement of the yoga shreds. Plant your hands down. Breathe a lot. Little goes a long way with these, huh? So you can really get that cardio and the heart rate to rise. Begin last round. Remember, hips and knees always slide back when you bend. That will take so much pressure off of the knees. Five seconds left. That's all. Here we go. Two, one. And right to center. Excellent work. Step a little bit wider. Keep your legs just a little tiny bit bent. And lift one foot up and then the other. As you breathe, rest and stretch. About a 30 second rest here. So enjoy it. Hips and knees slide back. Now as you're exhaling, you are really detoxifying here. Congrats, you did it. And then let's move into our next shred here. Turn toward the front of your mat. And if you've got blocks, that's great. Hang on to the blocks and just give yourself somewhere that's nice and stable to 
Just walk yourself back into a down dog. Bend your knees here. Take a deep breath in and exhale, tongue out. Exhale completely. Inhale, tongue out, fierce lioness. Full detox. Inhale here, exhale. Roar like you mean it. All right, now here from dog pose, give a nice little stretch through the back of the legs, never hyperextending the knees. Keep a little baby bend in those knees and just play the edge of a little stretch down the back of the legs. Deep breath in here, bend those knees and exhale, lift up through your belly, through the core, navel lifting, front spine lifting and come on forward to an inclined plank pose. Now, if this is a lot for you today, you can always place the knees down, but of course, you want a blanket underneath your knees so they can stay nice and safe. And you are not on the kneecap, you are on the top of the shin here. So make sure that you're well set up for that. Here's the move. We'll inhale, lift the right leg, knee into chest. Lift the right leg again, knee open, lift it, and twist a little bit toward the left. Do this with me, knees down or up. And let's begin here. Inhale, lift that right leg, <sighs> knee to chest. Inhale, lift the heel toward the ceiling, open as if to touch the upper outer right shoulder. Inhale, kick it up <sighs> and spin to the left. Kick it up, come to center <sighs> and place it down. First round, always for form. Now we'll pick up the pace a little. Plant the hands down here. Don't take the shoulders so far forward. Keep them back from the hands. All right, and that way your wrists will be safer too. Here we go, kick the right leg, kick it up, open, kick, chest, kick, little twist. Point it toward that left hand, good. And just do that for the next couple of breaths here. And then place it on down. To get off those blocks and stretch, interlace your hands behind you. Take a nice deep breath or hands to the waist. And let's come on back to center. Lift up through the core. Kick the right leg, knee in, knee open, knee spin and twist. You can always have that left knee down, shin down on the blanket. Or the knee is lifted. If your core is nice and toned, one and plant it down. Probably don't have to tell you, great for cardio, stretch and rest, great for toning your whole body, plus the core and the glutes. So here we go. Last round, knee to center, kick, knee open. Hey, if your left foot comes off the floor an inch when you kick, that's just fine. But I want you to exhale when the knee comes in, just five seconds left, three, two, one. Plant it down, get off those blocks. Yes, you're doing great. I know these are not easy, but in just about 15 minutes, you're going to have the benefits of a much longer workout. Here we go, left side, lift it up. Knee to chest, kick it up. Knee open toward the left arm. Kick to center, and then twist to the right. These are the triple threat, core planks. Two, one. Class, just plant it down there. Come on back, I can barely talk. These ain't easy, I know. And here we go, next round, come on in. Shoulders back from the wrists, give a nice kick up. And you do want to get to the point with these where you can move a little bit faster. We'll return to these in another session. Once you're more used to them, you can start going at the Sadie pace, if that's right for you. All right, come on down. Stretch, breathe, and rest. Circle out those arms if you like, and the wrists. And let's place it back down. You're getting so much transformation in such a small amount of time, but you really have to go for it. For your body, what is that? Right knee can be down. It would look something like this. Little baby twist, all right? One. Come on down, rest it out. You are doing great. Squeeze out your wrists a little bit. Give yourself a little massage there. Roll the wrists. And let's come right back in for our final round. Left leg to center. And then just find one of the triple planks. Open, center, or twist each time the knee comes in. 
and exhale when your knee comes in. Five seconds left. Excellent work today. Come on down. That's the last time we'll be on those arms. So interlace your hands here. Let's hear that victory sound. I love that one. Open up through your chest, deep breath. Exhale, fold yourself forward over the legs. This is a great knee stretch as well. If this is too low for you, that's fine. Don't go all the way down. Just keep the body lifted a bit. Even lift up a little bit through those hips. Deep breath in, stretch the arms a little more, and exhale. Release on out, come down to the floor this time. And if you've got a couple of blocks, I want you to move them back behind you more. So they're ready to go for our final restorative stretch as we rest and cool down in a moment, but not for right now. Come on down to your back. Give a nice stretch out. Reach your arms overhead. Stretch out through the legs. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. Now if you're going for this, these movements at your own pace, you're going to feel your heart rate really rising. So, fingertips behind the head. Here's our final shred today. Right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee. If your belly poofs up while doing this, good sign. That means you're getting psoas, deep spinal muscles. All right, let's begin like that together. Take a deep breath in here and exhale. Can you go a little bit more quickly into the movement? And what that does is gives you that faster twitch and moderate twitch muscle fiber action. So geeky. But it will lift, define, and tone you like nothing else. One. All right. Place the head down. Open those arms up overhead again if you like. You can even open the knees a little bit. Let's come on back next round. Now, if that is fine for you, keep the feet down. But if you can lift the legs and you can kick them out and go a little bit fiercer, right? Mindfully fast. One, plant it down, open the knees, open the elbows, rest, or stretch the arms out to the sides or up overhead on the floor. Come back in next round. No rest for the fierce, we know that. And those short rest periods create this massive transformation so wherever you are, I want you to really go for it. Feel and hear those exhales helping you and rest. Ooh, the best 10 seconds of our lives happening right now. At least during this workout. All right, come back to center, lift on up. Make sure you are not leading with your face, pushing up toward the sky. Actually press your head back into your hands and that will tone and fire your abs so much more. So look up at the sky a little more, head into hands, here we go, and rest it out. You're doing such a great job. I know these are not easy. They get the heart rate way up. So keep breathing through your mouth. Come on up, lift, and one elbow to opposite knee. The more you can lengthen the legs out, the harder it will be. But if it's too much for you, don't worry about it. Keep those feet down. Lift the chin. Three, two, one. Place it down. Rest it out. We are getting there. We are moving through these scissor curls, like cutting through water. All right, make it easier than you think. Get up that dedication and kick away what no longer serves your greatness. <sighs> Remaster the art of feeling this intensity and really setting your focus anyway. <sighs> One, and rest. Open the knees, open your elbows, stretch the arms, however you're feeling it. <sighs> and come on back in. <sighs> All right, now sometimes I'll hang onto a kettlebell behind my head or on the chest. It's challenging. I've got these wrist weights on. You could grab a water bottle back there if you're feeling like you need extra challenge at any time. Three, two, one. Place it down. This is the final 
round coming up. So I want you to really breathe, prepare your mind, fingertips behind the head, lift up through the shoulders, and here we go. Now wherever you are, even if you have to back it off a little bit, try to go a little bit faster in really good form. Keep the chin lifted. Here we go. Almost done. Two, one. Yes. Excellent work. This time stretch your arms all the way out. Reach your arms up above. Stretch the legs. Deep breath in. Yay. And exhale it out. Bend up those knees. Roll to one side. And let's slowly come on up. Now I'd like for you to end your workout today by bolstering yourself up a little bit. You can have a couple blocks here. This is how I like to do it. One block a little lower. That would go right under the bolster. One block a little bit higher here. If that is too much, then put it down on the floor. Just lie down completely fine. If it's too little, then add some more cushion for this. And here's the deal. Sitting bones, seat goes on the earth. Feet a little together, knees open. And you can even press your thighs away gently with your hands. This is to really open the hip flexors and the core area you've used so much today. And that will help to release the front line of your body to release the knees a little more. So a gentle press on your thighs, allow that traction to happen in your lower back. We're just here for five breaths, but if you'd like to stay longer and really rest it out, go ahead and press pause anytime you want and be here. And then at the end, bend up those knees, widen the feet and just rest the knees together for a few more breaths. And then press play again. You can meet me here for our final ceiling practice. Deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Try to melt down into the block. If you're feeling your low back too much, gently draw the navel down. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale, melt the shoulders, and just begin to relax your hands down for a final breath, round or two. Inhale, breathe down to the ribs, the belly. Exhale, release all tension through the mouth, through the body. And then begin to stretch your arms up overhead once again. Nice reach, reach, reach. Feet wide, knees in. Just a little press those knees together to counterpose that move. And on your exhale, we're going to slowly press the hands down and lift on up to sit. So much done in such a short amount of time. Now these benefits will be rolling for 24 whole hours. Amazing, even while you sleep. So bring your hands together here at Namaste and draw them down to the solar plexus, that bridge between your core and actions from that core truth out into the world. Deep breath in, one ohm to seal the practice with me, please. Om. Take a deep breath in, reach all the way up. Exhale, fist to the low belly, bow forward and seal your practice deeply within. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Namaste.